Welcome everybody to the stream. Welcome to Daily Crypto Technical Analysis. Welcome Alexandria, welcome Raya, welcome Behrat, welcome Zintars, welcome Ichi, welcome James Davies to the stream. On today's live stream, we are going to do Bitcoin price prediction, Ethereum price prediction. We are going to look at the altcoin trades that we took in yesterday's live stream. Uh, we only have two of them and also here we are currently in a nice profit. Hopefully, maybe uh, we can reach our target on uh, this one. But before we actually do this, guys, uh, I would like to say that currently I'm in a short position. Welcome, Eman, to the live stream. Ethereum is currently, yeah, of course, we are at the support level. And also on, Ethereum, uh, on Bitcoin, guys, you probably know if you are, the music is so good. Thank you very much. I just uh, changed the music today. Uh, so in my opinion, it's, it is also very good. Um, so if you are in the Discord, you probably know where was my entry uh, today on Bitcoin. If you look like that uh, here, as you can see today, I actually posted one hour 50 EMA and 15, um, one hour 50 EM exponential moving average and 15 minute 200 exponential moving average resistance, bearish pin bar 15 minute confirmed and I'm in a short position. Why I, why I uh, enter here? Because I saw first we respected uh, 50 exponential moving average already on the hourly time frame. Second rejection right there. I'm in a short position currently on Bitcoin and hopefully uh, this can actually play out. It looks uh, like it actually could because I will also show you the pattern that we are currently or we were actually um, moving in. But right now, before we actually make Bitcoin price prediction and also Ethereum price pred prediction, I would like to go through the altcoins and also through uh, today's altcoin trading ideas, then we will go through Bitcoin technical analysis and also through Ethereum technical analysis. So let me just clear this chart a little bit so we can make uh, prepare it for later. So first one, or also if you watch today's video, guys, we saw a massive correlation uh, with gold and the pattern that gold was trading in. And currently, as you can see, uh, I mean, gold is pretty much uh, dumping to the downside also with um, because we are so highly correlated with gold, I'm expecting pretty much Bitcoin right now to drop. Uh, and also maybe here, if this uh, if this red candle will be will actually close, the body of this red candle needs to be bigger than this red one. Uh, I mean, this green one. Then pretty much this will be engulfing pattern, which you can pretty much see exactly here. This red one is bigger. The body of this red one is bigger than this green one. And also here, as you can see, and what happens next? we have this massive red candle to the downside. Because of that, I'm pretty much expecting if this red candle will get bigger than this green one, as you can see, the pattern is here and we can, I mean, one another confirmation one we, why we can actually drop to the downside. So before we are going to do Bitcoin technical analysis and also Ethereum technical analysis, like I said, I would like to go through the altcoin trades today. So uh, on the LRC BTC on the hourly time frame. I'm still holding this position. We are in a downtrend, but I'm still holding this one. And also Ocean uh, Ocean BTC still holding this position. Uh, let me just see if we do have any divergences on the wave change indicator because sometimes it's actually uh, good to take profits on the divergences on the wave change indicator. Let me just see. No divergences. Minute time frame. No divergences. And also pretty much 15 minute. Yeah. Also no divergences. So I'm not going to close this one just yet. I'm still holding this position. Right now we are go we are going to go through daily altcoin trading ideas. So Iris BTC is the first one. But I will be uh, very careful. Uh, very careful what altcoins I'm going to trade because. Uh, I'm expecting a massive dump on Bitcoin. Uh, as, as you can see right now, we are pretty much retesting our support level. Let me just mark it up. For example, our support level is around this area. Uh, already retested. Let's see. First retest, second one, third one, fourth. This could be the fourth one. And maybe right now we can also make a retest and maybe even uh, uh, broke it. Um, so this is on Iris BTC. Let me just go Iris once again. Iris BTC on Binance. A massive spike to the upside. I will not be trading this coin. Next one is Uni BTC. Uni BTC on Binance. How massive will the dump be for Bitcoin? Uh, we can go through targets uh, later. Uh, we will see. So this uh, on this one, I would also not uh, uh, pretty much not enter this one because maybe this could be the first wave. I mean, this pretty much cannot be the fir uh, first wave because usually the first wave is always bigger than the second one. And as you can see. This is the f if, if this is the first wave, uh, this cannot be the second wave. So right now we can also see that right now also the second wave is getting 
I mean, it is in this region right there. Uh, pretty much, I would personally not like to trade this one because we are below zero point. I mean, I need to actually revert the Fibonacci retracement. I need to revert it. And as you can see, we are trading below 0 0.618 Fibonacci level because of that I would personally not enter this one. And if even we get a close, close below this level uh, in 10 minutes, um, this is also another bearish sign. I would not like to trade this one. Uh, because oh bitcoin is pretty much dumping right now guys hopefully i mean i'm in a short position like i said hopefully right now we actually drop um i will tell you exactly where was my entry if you actually uh didn't see it in the discord server today um so bitcoin is currently whoa bitcoin is dumping guys that bitcoin is dumping currently let's go let's ride the wave <laughs> so <laughs> oh 300 let's go guys I have, I think my uh, my first take profit is at this support level right there. I think it's, oh, maybe it's already hit because I set it a little bit higher. I think we actually hit, I think I actually hit my first take profit on this one. Uh, I set it a little bit higher than this support level right there. Maybe it's hit. It was hit. I need to actually look it up. Uh, whoa, Bitcoin, yeah. Bitcoin is dumping currently, guys. We actually caught it on the live stream. Nice. This is my first, I think we, I actually uh, closed it. I mean, the my target, first target, I still holding 50% of the position. I think my first target was already hit right now because I set it a little above, uh, a little, uh, above this, uh, this low here. So maybe I think it was actually hit, yeah. I need to actually look it up. Let me actually look it up right now. Uh, just, sec, just a sec, guys. Okay, buy bit. Yeah, my first, uh, my first, uh, target was hit. GG, guys, to everyone that took the position. I mean, they took the trade. Uh, very nice trade here. Uh, I'm still holding 50% of the position right now. Thumbs up, yeah, guys. If you haven't already, or if you just don't join the live stream, please hit the like button. Thank you very much. So, uh, next one is Sand BTC. Oh, Sand is pretty much the last one. Let's go with the Sand BTC. I think there were, uh, here were actually some more of the altcoins, but because Bitcoin just dumped to the downside, uh, maybe because of that, uh, it's now less. So send BTC on the hourly time frame. Oh, did we just analyze first wave, second wave? I would personally not also not trade this one. So let's go straight to Bitcoin, guys, because as you can see, Bitcoin is the king right now and we are making nice profits on this one. So I was looking today after I made a video, I saw that we made a higher high here. And I also posted this one on the Discord, as you can see right there. This was the bearish pin bar on the 15 minute time frame. Let me just go on the 15. Whoops. Let me go on the... Where are we going to target at 10, 7k? Uh, I I will go through... Uh, I mean, like I said, I am only entering this one for a short period of time. Uh, because first of all, of course, I want to see some price action here. And then we can expect major... Uh, of course, we, we pretty much won't see one candlestick. In my opinion, we just won't see one candlestick pretty much to the downside. Uh, but we can like slowly go to the downside. This is, in my opinion, what we can do. Uh, but uh, like I said, uh, what I wanted to do right now, um, I wanted to, I actually forgot what I wanted to do right now. So, oh, I was talking about the pattern. So I saw we are forming, let me just go, uh, we are forming a higher low and also a uh, higher high. Um, we were forming lower highs and also higher lows. Because of that, we were forming a triangle on Bitcoin. And if you actually, so how could you actually trade this one? I traded this one pretty much. I saw the rejection of the 50 exponential moving average on the hourly time frame. And also, as you can see here, bearish pin bar pattern on the uh, bearish pin bar pattern on the hourly time frame, and also I saw it pretty much on the 15 minute. Also, so we got the bearish pin bar. This is the screenshot of my sc uh, pretty much at the top, guys. You couldn't uh, actually uh, enter uh, any higher than this bearish pin bar right there. So I entered below the uh, below the close of the pretty much right there around uh, 10,000. Oh, Bitcoin is dumping, guys. Bitcoin is dumping currently. Let's write nice drop. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are holding a short position. I closed my 1000 and only to have 200 open. Good. Why? God, why? Nice drop. We are dumping guys. My first target was actually hit. It looks like, I don't know. I don't know. Where's my second target? Whoops. I think I don't have the second target set. We will go through the targets right now, guys, uh, because I need to set my second target. I don't know where I, I, I haven't put, I don't have the second target on the trade. I just realized that. Whoops. I need to look at the, the okay we are going to look at the targets but like i said uh like i said um 
you could trade how could you actually trade this you saw that this is the low you saw the triangle you could enter below the triangle pretty much right there but right now this was only the one candle right now which is happening at the, this time you could pretty much enter below the here but why this in my opinion would not be that good idea because we also have the support level right there so maybe we could still get rejected here we would break off of the triangle to the downside and we could still bounce here but right now as you can see we are pretty much uh trading very oh, why i don't have let me just go oh bitcoin is dumping guys bitcoin is dumping currently on the live stream uh let me just go like this yeah so i can see it a little bit better uh we are riding the wave to the downside um so how could you actually uh measure the dump right now we can go pretty much from the top to the bottom of this triangle and we can put this one to this like this this is uh like this as you can see and as you can see why i put my uh, first target here because this you can measure the triangle right there you pretty much put it to the downside and you can see pretty much right there and also we have the uh low right there and because of that this was my first target very simple uh my second target is currently not set uh i thought you set 9.7 for the first target from your last video yeah but uh like i said um i was um in my video i said that the target could be 9.7k but uh, because I am not entering those positions for a longer period of time if you entered a short position I mean a short position up here you could still hold your position right now but I am not uh, holding them for a longer period of time I actually entered on my uh, account where I usually scalp uh, for longer term I said that I would not be entering anytime soon or for, for short position because I was looking to get a retracement back to 0 0.5 Fibonacci level yeah my target is actually the main target is uh, and maybe even a bounce off of the 9,800 uh, 9, some, somewhere around this because of the CPR level and because also because of the Fibonacci, I think. No, yeah, the, oh, Fibonacci actually gave us, let me just measure this one from the bottom to the top. Yeah, the ultimate target, if we actually drop, would be this one, of course, 9,800. And also, I think the CPR level is pretty much right there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me just go, yeah, uh, weekly. No, weekly, I think they are weekly. Yeah, somewhere, or, yeah, the CPR level is exactly at this time, as you can see right there. I mean, it's this place, because that this is my target. But because I entered on my uh, other account, I'm currently on my main account, where I um, usually don't scalp. Uh, there, I haven't opened a position. But because I uh, looked at this uh, on the 15 minute, like I said, uh, pretty much this could be a scalp because of the 15 minute time frame, um, I entered a short position. But if you look longer term, longer term is still, the target is still 9,800 in my opinion. We can still drop even lower. Let me go on this one. Someone just posted something. Price action, here comes the dump. Yeah, here comes the dump, exactly. But right now we are retracing, uh, retracing a little bit to the upside. Hopefully that makes sense, what I just told you uh, across Canada. Uh, so what can we see so where should be my uh, i mean if you hopefully you actually see the low here as you can see this is the low resistance level we have one touch here one touch here one touch here and also we can measure the triangle and because of that like i said this was my first target uh thank you no problem so you can pretty much measure put it right there as you can see the exact target uh is uh this one the first target my second target uh, so where should we actually put our second target so uh, we could like, like let me just look at the CPR levels if we do have any important CPR no we don't have any CPR levels here at this point let me just go with the monthly nope also not so we cannot really uh, CPR my take profit is set on 10,200 uh, so let me just look at the if we do have any important levels at uh, below there let's see I mean here could be 10,200 maybe because um, I mean th this is pretty much the low here I would actually set it a little bit lower right now. So if my second target, maybe around 10,100 US dollars, because as you can see, we have high here, also high here, maybe high here, because that this could be your second target, 10,100-ish US dollars. And of course, I, I will set my stop loss uh, to the, uh, I will, uh, let me just go. Sometimes, like I said, I usually trail my stop loss with parabolic SAR. Let me go with parabolic SAR. SAR, as you can see, sometimes I uh, trail, uh, uh, trail it with parabolic star or exponential moving averages but in this case as you can see exponential moving averages are pretty high up so they would uh, they would not be helpful uh i can actually set it maybe at break even point i mean it was already at the break even point so maybe your stop loss right now maybe uh, uh yeah here 
around this area would shoot i mean right now would set my stop loss let me change the stop loss because if we actually no i actually want currently i have it at the break even point or a little above the wick which is pretty much a break even uh, but you could right now set it pretty much at this area because you couldn't expand a bounce because of the resistance right now this is currently our resistance because we are trading below it uh, and also we have this low right there so this could be a safe place to take uh, i mean to set your stop loss uh, if you entered pretty much at the po point where I did. Because I told you where I actually entered a short position if you uh, followed my uh, Discord uh, signal pretty much. So second take profit right now. Let me just see. Second take profit in my opinion right now. Let's see. Um, let's see. I mean second take profit around like I said 10,150 US dollars maybe right or around this area. This could be uh, or would be my second take profit. 10,150. Um, let me measure the dump once again with the fibre retracement. Do we have? No, pretty much this is here. I would say it around 10,150 US dollars would be my second take profit on Bitcoin. Um, because like I said, first was uh, first I showed you exactly where was my first take profit because measure this one and also this one drag it down see the exact here and also we have the low second confirmation why there is a good chance where we can actually revert can we look at ethereum please take profits ethereum please yeah we can look at ethereum uh, but i actually didn't enter a position on ethereum i only uh, entered a on bitcoin so on ethereum here let me just see also guys if you use my strategy or this is not pretty much my strategy but the strategy that i use pretty much you can see the exact same thing on the hourly time frame like we do have on bitcoin and also let me go on 15 minutes let's see um no we don't have it here but i mean here technically we do have it but here was a little bit nicer on the hard time frame let me go 30 minutes 30 minutes exactly guys so if you know what strategy i do use usually when i trade you can see bearish pin bar right there this is a bearish pin bar, this exact top candle and how I usually like to enter, enter below it. So your entry right now, you see a bearish pin bar, you could enter around this area because it's a low of this bearish pin bar. Pretty much I did the same thing on Bitcoin, but I was trading on the 15 minute uh, and I entered pretty much at the low of this bearish pin bar. This is a green one here, but uh, it's still a bearish pin bar and we have it on the 30 minute here. Uh, we have a green, oh, also a green. Yeah, as you can see, bearish pin bar, enter at the low of it, and as you can see, you would nicely catch the move to the downside also on Ethereum. So, what can we do right now? We actually broke the triangle right now to the upside, so this is right now not relevant. Um, the target, oh, we can actually measure the target. Let me go with the trend line here. The target for Ethereum could be, I mean, pretty much the, you can measure this one from the top to the bottom. This is a nice uh, way to actually measure the targets. And we broke it. I mean, I th we think I actually almost reached it. No, we ha haven't exactly reached it. Uh, but I usually like to set it a little bit higher because then you make 100% sure that your target will be hit. Uh, do we have any important CPR levels here? Let me just check here. No, we pretty much have a free fall to our, <coughs> to our S3 level. Sorry for this. Um, but like you can see here, you can measure the triangle, put it right there and this could be your target on Ethereum. Uh, but right now we actually haven't uh, reached it. Let me just check if we do have any important levels here. I mean, the wicks are pretty much also at this point. So this is a time where you could take some profits at this area pretty much. Uh, let me just, yeah, we have the confirmation of the triangle and also we have the uh, first rejection also, I mean support bounce pretty much bounce here, bounce here. And also we can extend this one so we can see that we pretty much bounced uh bounced also here so btc dropping yeah btc is dropping also ethereum is pretty much following the btc so this as you can see this almost reached i mean if you look at the the this um box right there this is a good time to actually take some profits but if we go on higher time frame right now let me just see yeah this is a technically it is a let me just extend this one it is a level of support as you can see so technically we can actually bounce here um, and I, in my opinion this is a good time to actually take some profit because if you look uh, here right now you will see that next support I would say it is around let's see uh, because we have a high here you can pretty much set it around this uh, and also I think is the CPR level is also around this area let me just go with the CPR levels yeah I mean now the CPR level is higher so I mean also take profit would be at this point also 
uh, I mean, second take profit could be 312 US dollars. But if you look at the support and resistances, you can see that because of this high here, this is clearly, whoops, this is clearly a uh, resistance here. Acting, I mean, uh, resistant if you look like this, but currently this is acting our support. Uh, but if you look at this previous uh, pump to the upside, we pretty much went uh, um, straight to the upside. So uh, we can repeat this and we can go straight to the downside right now. But like I said, because we have rejection here, maybe we can actually bounce here. So this is, in my opinion, a good idea to take some profits uh, uh, if you are in a short position on Ethereum. Second take profit, I would say, I would set it personally, I would set it at the CPR level. This would be my second take profit on ethereum like i said uh, monthly not really so yeah weekly second take profit would be around 317 maybe because you always want to see all 15 let's say because you always want to set it a little bit higher than the actual uh, support or resistance because you can get rejected a little bit earlier i mean bounce a little bit earlier um yeah so but of course uh, this could i mean if you look on higher time frames this uh we can still drop even further but like i said because i am usually trading those patterns i mean uh because i was trading this pattern on the my scalp position i wasn't expecting to actually hold it that um that um that long and of course i didn't set my take profit at 9800 US dollars uh, but my first target here was actually reached my second target is uh i mean i haven't set it just yet but i will at 10,150 ish us dollars on Ethereum, I mean on Ethereum, like I said, I'm not in, currently in a trade. This is for Bitcoin and Ethereum, guys. Oh, oh this is very nice that we actually caught a massive, uh, I mean, not that, yeah, I mean, it was pretty massive uh, move to the downside right now on Bitcoin because I think we actually haven't uh, done this in the past. So very nice here. Uh, if you make right now a technical analysis on this one, I mean, what can we do pretty much? We can see... How could you actually, uh, I mean, if you look like this, you can have a pump to the upside, a retracement back up. And I, I think in yesterday's video, I said why this could be the end of the retracement back up. Because if you measure the last retracement to the upside and put it at this level, you can see that this is almost, I mean, the wicks, of course not, but almost perfectly aligns with this retracement. And you can also measure something like this uh, with the previous uh, pushes to the upside. And also we were, this was pretty obvious why we are going to break to the downside. Why? Because we were moving. Uh, I mean, when I created a video the, in the morning, we were actually moving in the bearish flag. So this was a bearish pattern. And I was, like I said, expecting a drop to the downside. But what was also forming here was also a triangle, which uh, when I make, was making a video, we haven't formed a lower low. But right now we have a lower low. We were, then you can see we were trading in a triangle pretty much two different uh, two different uh, bearish uh, bearish uh, patterns so you can see this descending triangle right there which is of course a bearish uh, bearish indication and also this like i said this um, if we remove it a ba a bearish flag so this bearish flag also a bearish pattern two bearish patterns why we can actually drop to the downside and we did exactly that i also saw saw that someone posted in the discord server that um, Crypto face was in a long position and then I watched the, uh, his live stream and I saw that uh, he was in profit. He entered pretty much at the top. I don't know why would you do that. He entered at 10,509 US dollars somewhere around this area where I actually entered my short position. And he, I mean, he was um, somewhere around this. He, oh, 10,500, somewhere around this area, he actually entered a long position but of course we got rejected off of the 200 exponential moving average where i told you in the discord server why there is a good idea to enter a short position and i was in a short position i mean um, then i watched crypto faces live stream and he was pretty much in the uh, rat in the negative so he definitely made a loss on this trade on the long trade that he uh he was in so yeah, this is pretty much for Bitcoin right now. Currently in a downtrend, if you look at exponential moving averages, they are all pointing to the downside and they are all in sequence also in on uh, higher time frames, two hourly pretty much down, three hourly in sequence, four hourly I think also, yeah, and daily of course, I think also if I'm correct. No, uh, we still have, uh, of course, I would say that we were in the ultimate downtrend where when 
our 50 exponential moving average, 18 exponential moving average would be below 200 exponential moving average. But uh, if this will actually happen, we pretty much need to drop uh, then very low on Bitcoin. Right now, it looks like they are all pointing to the downside except 200. 200 is still a little bit up. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm expecting a pump dump to the downside. Uh, my first ult, I mean, the target here is at around 9,800 US dollars. This would be now then the critical level where we can decide if we are going to go up or actually down. Because the, why this level is so important? We have CME gap still open right there. And also we have the trend line right there. And I also think that we have... Uh, our uh, CPR levels pretty much exactly here. Yeah, also CPR levels weekly and also monthly CPR levels are exactly aligning with the uh, 200 exponential moving average because of this. Uh, this is a very strong support and if we break this guys, uh, I would not be surprised that we can actually go to maybe 8,000 or 8,800 US dollars. Stop for Ethereum. Stop, uh, stop loss for Ethereum. Here uh, it depends uh, on where you actually entered. Uh, if you look like this, currently um, this is acting as the uh, as the resistance level, and because of that we need to maybe maybe a retest and then continuation to the downside. Uh, so if you are currently in a short position, you can set your stop loss, for example, in this triangle because this is currently protecting us because it's a, a resistance level. Uh, it's a protecting us that we can actually bounce to the downside once again if we right now come back up. If we go on lower time frame, for example, on five minute. But it doesn't actually look maybe, uh, I mean, of course, I don't know. Uh, we can, if we uh, go back up, uh, because this is a resistance level, it's a hard probability we will actually revert and go to the downside on Ethereum. So stop loss, in my opinion, would be the best right now to put it in the, in the triangle uh, again. Because if we come back up here, uh, of course, then we will, it will be our support level and... Of course, if the support level holds, we can go back up. So, in my opinion, in the triangle would be ideal. Or if you are trailing it, so if you are trailing it with the parabolic star, also a good indicator. Uh, trail it with the parabolic star or exponential moving averages. Also a good idea. That's personally how I usually like to do on my scalp trades. But on my uh, usually when I trade on hourly and four hourly time frame, then I usually set it. I mean, usually then I even don't trail it or I make sure that it is protected with at least one exponential moving average. Currently 25, 21 likes on the live stream, guys. Thank you so much for liking the stream. Uh, I also forgot that we need to actually look at the news today on very interesting news. 53% of Bitcoin futures expire Friday. Very interesting news, so maybe we can go, what's up bro, what's up, visuals by Vlad. Hopefully you actually uh, caught the short trade on Bitcoin. Uh, I also posted it, like I said, in the Discord server. So guys, if you haven't already joined the Discord server, because the link is down below in the description, completely free to join. Uh, and pretty much I usually post uh, when I like uh, to trade or what trades I usually take. So you can see exactly where I posted. I saw a rejection of the, I mean, why I actually entered the trade? We will go. Uh, I did. I, is that a bad news? So the bad news, I think. Yeah, we will go through this. Uh, so why I actually entered the short position right now, guys. I will tell you exactly uh, why I entered it. So first of all, what I usually look at is I look at the higher time frame for the confirmation of the trend. So I saw all of the exponential moving averages were pointing to the downside or they were in the sequence. There is a confirmation of the average downtrend uh, because of that we have the confirmation of the trend. Then I went on the 15 minute time frame. I also saw the second uh, confirmation was that we got rejected off of the 50 exponential moving average. Because we got rejected over the 50 exponential moving average I saw that we are respecting it and that we can pretty much do the same thing once again. We did exactly that. We got rejected off of the 50 exponential moving average and pretty much the same on the 15 minute time frame. Rejected once, rejected twice. I saw a bearish pin bar formed on the 15 minute time frame, as you can see right there, this one, and I entered at the low of the, of the bearish pin bar. And also what is important here, I set my stop loss above so let me go with a short position above the exponential moving averages which means it is protecting me if we come above it that we can get rejected with the 200 exponential moving average and 
uh, I am protected with it. And because of that, because it's acting as a resistance uh, level, we can get rejected and continue our way to dance it. Because of that, you can set your stop loss above the exponential moving average, pretty much the same on the hourly time frame. Go on the hard time frame, see the exponential moving average, set it a little above it. And pretty much you are protected with the exponential moving average if we actually get rejected. My next target is to buy the bear flag around price level 10,198 US dollars. Uh, you mean bear flag? Where is the bear flag uh, on the... I mean, I am taking profits. My second target currently on Bitcoin is at the 10,000. I mean, I will set it at 10,150 US dollars, somewhere around this level. Maybe a little bit higher. I usually like to set it a little bit higher. The wick. Uh, oh, the, the bear flag. It is a bearish pin bar. You mean the wick. Oh, here, yeah. Oh, I'm a uh, stop loss here. I mean, my next target is to buy bear flag around on the daily. So you are trading on a daily bear flag. So you mean this bear flag here? I mean, this is, uh, I mean, some kind of a bear flag. I mean, you could actually technically say this is a bear flag. But we, of course, I would want to see another retest, but I don't think we can actually retest once again up here. Uh, so guys, we are going to go through the news right now. Um, Bitcoin 200 week moving average hints price will never go below 6,700 US dollars. How do you know how long to wait for your trade? Are you always watching moving averages to be respected and then watch the candle? Uh, no, personally, I don't watch. Uh, of course, I don't watch charts, uh, uh, charts 24 seven. But when I do see, so for example, uh, I check the chart usually like a couple of times a day on my phone usually. Uh, and then I see, for example, here. No, I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't uh, actually watching the charts when this actually happened. But when I made the video, we will already in the... I think we when I was recording, we will pretty much around this area. Uh, when I was recording, so I saw uh, the history. So, I mean, yeah, the history. We were uh, respecting it once. And because of that, I usually then check it, the price. I saw that we are pretty much at the level of the 50 exponential moving average. And then I just saw that... We can get rejected. Bullish, I mean bearish pin bar being formed on the 15 minute and also pretty much on the hourly gave us another confirmation as we see also on the hourly bearish pin bar. And because of that, like I said, I entered a short position on Bitcoin. Uh, love you. Thanks. You're perfect. Thank you very much, Hamid. Uh, lol. <laughs> so we will go through the news right now. Um, 40 viewers on today's live stream, guys. Thank you all guys for watching. Uh, Bitcoin maybe a little retracement now back again, but this is currently acting as our resistance level So maybe another retest of it and then we can continue down. This is my opinion So also what I would like to look is the free version of market cipher. Let me go. Where is the ethereum price analysis? We already did it. I mean like I said on Ethereum, it's pretty much moving the same as Bitcoin currently uh, pretty much the same because uh, if you look at this we were in a triangle here and also we can spot a triangle also on the Bitcoin but on the Bitcoin we actually were making higher lows and also lower highs we were in the symmetrical triangle on Bitcoin but on Ethereum here uh, we were in a pretty much in a uh, destiny triangle which was a also already a bearish sign that we can actually drop below and this exact thing happened do you think Ethereum will go down below 300 uh, like I said I mean my first, I think uh, I told you before that my take profit first would be around this area because you can see that we, at this level, we got some consolidation. This means this is pretty much a support level here. Uh, and I would maybe some take, take some profits if you are right now in a short position. Uh, but next target, I mean, if you look in the hard time frames like I did before, you can see the next major support level or pretty uh, strong, I would say, is around. Oh, here, yeah, we already marked it. Those highs here is another big support, but my second target on Ethereum would be the CPR level actually, which is pretty much in the middle of the, in the middle of this channel. Next target would be 310 US dollars around this area. Three, I mean, personally, I would set it a little bit higher because I want to make sure that my uh, take profit actually gets filled. 315, 17, somewhere around this area would be my second take profit. Uh, and then we will go from there if we actually can drop even lower. I just want to, I usually like to trade from level to level. So when I see, uh, of course, well, first target set, second target set, if I saw we can actually drop even lower, uh, then I look further. But right now, like I said, second target would be the CPR level for me. 
and then I would actually look if we can drop even lower. But guys, I also saw that if you were trading today with a free version of Market Cipher, you would currently be in a long position on the hourly time frame. So you see money flow curving to the upside, money flow curving to the upside, a trigger wave double bottom on the four hourly time frame. Uh, on the Ethereum, you mean? Let me just check real quick. On the Ethereum, let me, let me re just remove the drawings because I have so many of them usually. And I mean, yeah, technically it could be double bottom, yeah. I also told you about this double bottom pattern on a daily time frame. Also here, yeah, as you can see, maybe a double bottom. Are you ever going to do a life leverage trade on Bybit? Um, currently, I'm not really uh, comfortable sharing my position sizes. Maybe I will make a lower account and maybe then uh, I will... Um, I was thinking about 100 US dollars or maybe 100 or maybe 1000. 1000 US dollars uh, trading challenge on the YouTube and then I see how far I can actually take it. But currently, uh, I would personally not like to share my Bybit uh, account. Maybe, like I said, a lower, uh, I mean, uh, I will make another account. For example, I don't know, for example, 100 or maybe 1000 US dollars, and then I will try to actually build it up. Can you share more signals if you enter a trade on Discord? I missed the signal earlier. Thanks, bro, you the bro, bro. <laughs> uh, I mean, like I said, I don't, uh, I mean, sometimes I do post, I mean, those trades here were pretty obvious here. Um, sometimes I do post the signal, sometimes I don't. Pretty much how I feel, I mean, this was pretty obvious here. So if you watch my, my live streams, you pretty much would know what to look for, where you would enter a trade. That will be nice, using 500 or 1000 will be awesome A live trade. Do you think VTC VT is a scam? Yes, I do. Let's do a small balance trade, sounds fun. So maybe, yeah, uh, I was thinking 100 or 1000 US dollars around this. Uh, in my opinion, would be great, but like I said, not, uh, maybe, I don't know when, I don't know when, because right now my school is starting in a couple of days, and because of that, I don't know if I will actually have time, uh, pretty much in one week, my school is starting, so because of that, live scalp, I mean, we can do live scalps, of course, but right now, like I said, my school is starting, and maybe I was also thinking, uh, I would actually can't bring my laptop to my school and I actually can't trade there. I was also thinking about this. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I will see uh, what will happen with this. So if we go through the news right now, guys. Uh, Bitcoin 200 week moving average. Hence, price will never go below 6.7 thousand US dollars. Uh, so if we right now apply weekly moving average on there. I also wanted to look at the market cipher. So... I forgot. So, uh, like I said before, uh, no, don't go to school, bro. You are Warren Buffett. <laughs> of course, I need to go to school. Uh, it is starting, like I said, in one week. And because of that, oh, because of that, guys, I will have some very important news uh, pretty much in one of my videos. Um, lol, you the goat, bro. Real Warren Buffett. <laughs> so, uh, I will also tell you some very, in my opinion, or, I mean, sad news. Uh, no, you don't Corona. I mean, uh, I will see how... Oh, why did I just say this word? Maybe my... Uh, I will now get maybe some kind of restriction on the uh, stream. Okay, whatever. So, um, for how long do you think the market, the bear market will keep up? I mean, we are not in a bear market. We can still con uh, see that this is a bull market, of course. Uh, but we have just a small downtrend. That's it, in my opinion. Uh, so, I wanted to say that I will be uh, I will be telling the news pretty much when my school starts, and you will know what is uh, what will happen uh, when my school starts because of course I cannot then live stream and also make the video because of that I will okay so I can pretty much mention this right now so uh, I cannot live stream while uh, while I will have school because of that I will only be releasing the videos uh, while uh, when I will be. Uh, pretty much when my school starts because of that maybe live streams only on weekends uh, No, the banks are being shorted because of trafficking. Okay, uh, so like I said, uh, maybe I actually cannot um, maybe live stream will be uh, on the weekends, but uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday I um, uh, I cannot live stream because of course uh, in the morning I will be in school and uh, In the evening maybe I will actually create a video 
uh, and pretty much no time for live stream, guys. So, yeah, that's how it is. 10,300 is holding. Do you think it will go up a little from there? Uh, yeah, maybe a, a retest of the support level and then back down. When are we going to the moon? <laughs> in my opinion, in the next month, maybe, hopefully. Because if you look at the past, like I also mentioned this one uh, in uh, one of my live streams, I also, if you look at the past here, let me go on a different time frame, a chart. Let's go on Bitstamp. You can see that on a daily time frame in the, in September, this was also one of the worst months. months. So if you look here, you can see September, we had this major dump to the downside. If we go with the price range here, we can measure it to the bottom here, 39%, let's say 40% here. And if we actually put this right there, you will see that we can actually drop, I think around 8,000. Uh, no, even lower. Yeah, uh, lower, yeah. Around 7,500 if you look like this. If you look the previous, uh, when we were pre previously pumping to the upside and the correction was to, was like I said, 40%. So, but I don't think we can actually go that low right now. Ultimately, how long, can, uh, I would say maybe retest the support level right there. 8,000, uh, in my, 8,800 would be, in my opinion, if we go that low. So let's go uh, through the moving averages right now because I keep forgetting it. Let me go on the two moving average. Let me change this to 200, 200, remove the drawings. And let me go on a weekly time frame and let's see. So uh, weekly time frame, we can see. Oh yeah, it is true. It is saying that Bitcoin hints price will never go below 6.7k. So if we can look at this one, it almost pretty much yeah, it it aligns perfectly with 200 exponential moving average. Oh yeah, because I oh this is moving average here. I have exponential moving. It's pretty much the same. I mean, sometimes is uh, so, guys. Also, please tell me in the comments what exponent. I mean, what moving averages do you like to use? Moving averages or exponential moving averages? Personally, I usually like to use exponential moving averages. Uh, as you can see, pretty much, yeah, the same right now. Six thousand seven hundred US dollars would be. I mean, but in my opinion, we cannot get. We cannot go right now that low. Uh, yeah. So this is with this one. Let me just see here. Are you Bitcoin or crypto bullish or bearish BTC next twelve months? Bitcoin and bullish BTC are the most are the most people pretty much and then crypto and bullish BTC crypto I think that people are actually holding Ethereum and maybe some other altcoins which I don't because I think 90% of the all altcoins are scams and because of that I only hold Bitcoin and Ethereum some Ethereum uh, Yeah, this is with this one so also Bitcoin to hit critical support level as analysis EI drop to CME gap are you Warren Buffett lost son? Uh, um, yeah, I am. So please don't tell anyone. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, MA and EMA crosses. Love 100 EMA moving average and 50 EMA. Yeah, personally, I like to use 50 and 100 exponential moving average. And also right now, I actually added 18 exponential moving average. Because sometimes you can actually see the cross happen a little bit earlier. But the, uh, but the um, signal that is given... Uh, with 18 and 50 exponential moving average cross is not that uh, strong, I would say, than if the 250 exponential moving average actually cross. So we can actually look at this one. So Bitcoin to hit critical support level as analysis I drop to CME gap. Yeah, in my opinion, we can actually fill the CME gap. Uh, Bitcoin's price is currently plunging with the growing sell side pressure coming from a combination of technical uncertainty, weakness, in the stock market and strength in the US dollars. Also guys, today, today in the video, I told you about the gold. And gold actually on the hourly, I mean on a daily time frame, we actually broke the triangle. So if, I mean not today, but we already did it before. But as you can see, we are currently trading below 50 exponential moving average on gold. I mean also on uh, Bitcoin. On a weekly, let's look at weekly. Weekly, we are retesting 18 exponential moving average. So let me go on Bitcoin actually and let's see where is our also, our 18 exponential moving average is pretty much right there. So, yeah, Bitcoin, because we are so cor highly correlated with gold, uh, pretty much like I expected, we will actually drop even lower. Let me actually look at S&P 500. S&P 500. S&P, you need to actually do something like S&P. S&P, wait, what? Oh, this one. So, let me look. I mean, it's also going down, yeah. But as, as you can see here, let me go on a daily. 
I mean, we were in an uptrend here and this could be only a correction here. So if you measure it with the fever retracement, this last pump, uh, yeah, we this could pretty much right now turn to the upside on the S&P. Because as you can see, it is a correction to 0 0.0 Fibonacci level or let me revert the fever retracement real quick because I usually, let's do like this. You can see it is a correction to 0 0.5 Fibonacci level. Uh, but here, yeah, also a bullish pin bar, as you can see, guys. This is a bullish pin bar. This red one is a bullish pin bar. Uh, but it looks like right now we are going even lower. Let me just actually measure this last uh, last one here. I mean, also 0 0.5 Fibonacci level. Maybe we can actually revert here. Uh, can you predict where will that even lower be if gold down plus dollar up BTC dumping? I mean... I think that Bitcoin is actually not correlated with dollar. I mean, yeah, dollar is going up uh, usually when gold goes down, I think. It's, that's correct. But I, like I said, gold, uh, I mean, Bitcoin is highly correlated with gold and also S&P 500. Um, PTC dumping. Can you predict where will that even lower be? So on Bitcoin, first of all, like I said, I'm expecting that I want to see the retest of the 200 exponential moving average, the trend line right there. And also, like I said, there is pretty much the CPR level. So this is currently a very strong support level. Uh, and I am personally expecting that we are going to bounce here. Why I'm expecting this? Because we are going to fill the CME gap. Like I said, in my uh, a lot of my in a lot of my uh, live streams, 90% of all CME gaps actually get filled. And because of that, like I said, I'm expecting the fill of the CME gap. And also what is here? If we look on the this free version of market cipher on a not weekly on a daily time frame, you can see right now we have a red there. Because of that, I'm expecting when we are going to drop lower, we will have a green dot on market cipher. Divergence will happen, and because of that, this can pretty much bounce us to the upside. This is, in my opinion, uh, this would be a perfect setup to enter a long position, and I would start be looking to enter long positions pretty much right there because it's a very strong support. Even if we will be in a downtrend like we are right now, I would uh, go on the lower time frame, see if we are in an uptrend, and then I would personally look to enter a long positions because this is so strong support level right there. Can you show us how to configure the CPR pivot? All you have to do is just apply them on the chart. And like I said, you, uh, I mean, not like I said, you need to disable pretty much all of them. I usually like to show weekly here, disable this one, because if you show weekly, it's already so many of them because you actually need to look them on the uh, lower time frame. So weekly, I usually like to look at weekly pivots and also monthly pivots. But when you are using weekly pivots, disable monthly because of course, then you don't know where, which ones are monthly and which ones are weekly. All you have to do just untick pretty much everything and just use show weekly or show monthly. And also guys, if you are scalping, for example, on the 15 minute time frame, what is also very useful to use daily pivots. As you can see right now, oh, if you look on daily, uh, daily pivots, we pretty much hit our uh, support S2 level right there. So this is also a very, if you are scalping, as you can see, pretty much exactly hit S2. Awesome, thanks, no problem. Uh, so, like, this is also a very nice tool to enter scroll positions, but of course, uh, weekly pivots are much stronger than daily pivots, and also monthly pivots are much stronger than uh, weekly pivots. Uh, so, let me just also, here, I was looking before, like this, analysis, an anal 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 analysis, analysis. BTC may have to decline to CME gap before rebounding. BTC looks ready to finally go fill that CME gap. Didn't quite tap the 11.2, 0.65 region I talked about. Uh, here we, he has a support and 10,215 US dollars. Uh, maybe, but we are right now higher. Um, I mean, they are saying a lot of bounce to the upside and then continue our way to the downside. I'm expecting that right now because we broke this support level here. We made a so if we go on the hourly time frame, whoops, let me go on the hourly time frame, guys. Only three more likes. We have 35 likes on today's live stream. Thank you very much. So if we go with the let me actually measure this one here. Can we actually measure that? No, the other way around. Let's see. I mean, not really. We're pretty much exactly at this wick right there, so this is not very helpful. Um, what should be, I mean, you can also, I mean, but here I would actually not say that this can happen. So you can, how you can actually uh, right now 
set the uh, dump here, you can technically do like this. Dump here, a correction to the upside. Dump here, a correction to the upside. And then how you can actually predict this one is move pretty much this one, put it right there and you will see the target. 9,000, 10,000 pretty much. But if you move this one, let's see. I mean to 10,216 US dollars. So uh, at this point, I would actually not do this here. It's not really because you can see this was a much, much smaller dump than this one. Uh, I mean, this was technically a head and shoulders pattern on the, let me go on the four hour time frame. 48 viewers on today's live stream, guys. I think this is actually the record. Um, yeah, so let me go on the, let me go with the, where is the head and shoulders? So clearly we made a head and shoulders, no, on the four hourly, no, I was not. Let me just remove this, let me go on the hourly. This, this, I want to look at this. Pump to the upside, a left shoulder, a head here right shoulder i also talked about this uh, pattern uh in one of my uh videos so you can also measure this head here head i mean somewhere around this and pretty much put it right there this could be your target exactly you can measure pretty much the price before and put it in the future and this could be your target it's very simple so yeah, this is with this one. Also here, 53% of Bitcoin futures expire Friday. So um, I was reading this uh, before and I don't know um, what futures can actually expire. I think on a Toro or on the app, app or something or Robin Hood, on Robin Hood. I was told that 53% of this year to date's future place on Bitcoin expire on Friday. Does anyone know if this is accurate and any speculation to what that will do to the market? It's only roughly two billion dollars worth of future, only two billion dollars uh, worth of futures. But I imagine it might have some sort of movement or at least volatility on Friday. So I was reading this one. The September 2020 CME gap uh, Bitcoin futures are due to expire on Friday as per the contract. Trading terminates London time on the last Friday of the contract month. If this is not both a London and US. Business day trading terminates on the prior London and the US business day. From the current trend, it appears that these will be dumped. So I'd expect a further drop to just under 9K. Oh, there it is, 25 September futures. 25 September, this is on Friday, right? Yeah, this is on Friday. So maybe there a bit, yeah, and also I would expect when will that be? On Friday. On Friday, pretty much in two days, uh, we can expect these futures to get expired. Uh, so I think futures, thank you, yeah, on there a bit, then at eToro, I think also, and also on Robinhood. 50 viewers, welcome everybody to the live stream. If you just joined, please hit the like button. Thank you very much. This is the record of the viewers on the live stream, guys. Thank you for watching. And we will make a big dump. I mean, I pretty much, I mean, if they expire, technically, I mean, it's $2 billion. So maybe it will have some effect on the market. BitMEX XBTU20 on 25.2. Oh, really? So BitMEX, we have BitMEX there a bit. I think it was then Robinhood probably. Uh, I mean, it says here $2 billion. So how can we actually check this? How much uh, amount? is going to get expired here. I don't know where you can actually check this. But if it's $2 billion, it probably will have some effect. Sit tight, guys. S tighten your seat belts <laughs> if we are going to drop even lower. Someone just posted something in the trading view. Uh, okay. This is the support, whoa. In my opinion, like I said, 8,800 US dollars around this area. Or, or a bounce off of the, like I said, bounce off of the 200 exponential moving average on the daily. This is, in my opinion, the where we could technically go. Why? Because it's a so strong support and because of that, uh, we have exponential moving average here, trend line here, CPR levels pretty much here, monthly and weekly CPR levels exactly here. 
And uh, I thought I also think that some um, the fiber tracement pretty much aligns with this one, if I'm correct. Nope. Um, I think I was looking at this one. Nope. I think I saw the CPR level or something. Oh, I think I was measuring. I was measuring this one. Is it correct? Yeah. Also this one. Um, let me go from the bottom to the top here. No, I did exactly the same. So hey, hi, Arunan John Tuo. That's why it's called CME Gap, bro. <laughs> also, options expire on twenty five. The futures are on CME and CBO. These are exchanged that trade BTC futures. So, in my opinion, yeah, we can. If if uh, I mean two billion dollars is, in my opinion, not that big amount of money. If you look at the market cap of Bitcoin here, it's pretty much. 190 billion here i think is this night one yeah 190 billion but uh 2 billion is how much how many percent like 10 right it's 200 yeah 10 percent so i mean what is one percent what am i talking about one percent right uh it is 1%, yeah, it is 1%. 1% 1 of the entire uh, market cap will, I mean, the futures pretty much, if you look like this. 58 viewers on the live stream, guys, thank you. Go on the 1%, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, 1%. <laughs> so guys, one more like, we have 40 likes on the live stream. Thank you very much. This is pretty much the record. If we will have one more viewer, we actually have 60 viewers on the live stream. Amazing record, pretty much. So. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, we can talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever. 40 likes. Yeah, we have 40 likes. GG, GG guys. Thank you very much. Let me just go in the early time frame real quick. Everyone press the like, like bros. Yeah. So if you look like this, let me go with this one. Where do you think we are heading tomorrow? Um, I mean, first of all, I want to see the uh, where we are actually going to stop because right now we all only have this one candle right there. So I don't know if we are going just if this will just be a wake and continue our way to the upside, or if we are going to start developing some price action here. So like I said, I would want to wait right now, like the percentage and so on. Let's hit 50. We got the numbers. I mean, technically we do, but thanks and great TA. Uh, so first of all, I would like as you can see here, if you look like this, you cannot really know where we are going to stop. So I would like first to see some price action and then I would like to see where is the support level actually. And then I would uh, see if we are going to go back up or if we are going to go even lower. But right now, because we only have one candle going down, this could easily go back up and it can only just be a wick and we can pretty much continue the way to the upside. So. Like I said, if we will have some price action here, then this would technically then exactly be the uh, resistance level then. But right now this could only just be a waking. But of course, we only have two more minutes and then uh, this would be a wake. Let me actually wait two minutes and see if we can actually close below this one. Ethereum price. Uh, Ethereum price, I mean, pretty much the same here. Ethereum 10,178 looks promising. I post a chart in the Discord. Uh, the green dot Bitcoin you are talking about Bitcoin the green dot uh, where do you mean let me just see this one you're this one for our candle closes soon let's see let's see let's see I mean hourly cleanses in one minute two hourly also oh I think all of them except oh three hourly in our time I mean in our also for our all of those will actually close here so I mean, hourly will close up below the, I mean, on Ethereum, on Bitcoin, will close below the support level here. Our green line, not the dot. The green dot. Oh, visuals by Vlad, you are pot here. I didn't know about this. <laughs> uh, so, the green line. Uh, green line is where? Bitcoin training, maybe this one? No, general. Green line here, uh, ten thousand one hundred and seventy-eight US dollars. 
Like I said, this is also the area where I would take some, uh, sec my, where would be my second target right now in this trade. Around one, 150 now. 150 ish US dollars. Of course, I would set it a little bit higher because I want to get it actually get filled. Right there. Ethereum next pivot is 313. Yeah, I also said this would be my next target on Ethereum. Actually, the CPR level. This one. 313, yeah, I would set my take profit a little bit higher because you never know where we can actually reverse and continue the way to the upside, but uh, yeah, this is this would be my second target on Ethereum. On Bitcoin, uh, my second take target would be, like I said, around 150, 170, whatever, around there. Yeah, so this would be it for today's live stream, guys. Hopefully you actually caught this trade to the downside on Bitcoin, this short trade. Because it was pretty obvious that also 30 minute time frame confirmed a bearish pin bar. 15 minute time frame confirmed a bearish pin bar. This was at 1530. Let's see this one. 1530, exact same time we had the bearish pin bar, pin bar formed. 45 minutes we have no bearish pin bars. Hourly we do have but it was confirmed already. Oh, I didn't know about this. This was actually confirmed earlier. Let's see. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was. Hourly time frame confirmed us that we are going down even earlier than on the 15 minute and also on the 30. I actually didn't know. I didn't actually look at this one. I only looked at the 30 minute uh, on the 15 minute for the bearish pin bar. And I also see right now that we also have it on the hourly. Nice. And also rejection off of the 50 exponential moving average, which is a resistance. Uh, right there. Closing below 10.3 is bad day for the bulls. I mean, right now it looks like we have a green here. So maybe, like I said, a retest of the support or resistance here and then down. Can you make a signals channel on here, bro? Thanks, bro. You the bro, bro. <laughs> um, signals, I don't know, guys. Um, hi. Is there any calls for today? <laughs> um... No calls for today. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, I mean, I don't know if I would like to post signals, guys. Um, like I said, I am posting my personal opinion. I mean, my technical analysis on pretty much daily on YouTube. So you can follow it right there. And uh, your signals, I mean then you decide where you want to take the trade so we are heading up uh so are we heading up uh of course i mean i don't have a crystal ball but i can say that maybe a retest of the resistance people usually trade like this if people are trading support and resistances then usually wait for a breakout uh, or breakdown here uh, wait for a retest and this is the point where usually people enter a short position if they trade support and resistances. Make a sculpt channel for Bybit tutorial, 100 all in. <laughs> no, I don't want to just go all in. I mean, of course I would use, I mean, if I would you make this 100 channel ch uh, challenge, uh, I would probably do it like 100 US dollars and then maybe two or 5% risk uh, of the account. You know what I mean? I mean, you never want to risk more than usually it's you one to three percent should you risk on a uh, uh, on a trade but if i would go with 100 i could go a little bit more aggressive maybe it's five i would say five percent and also uh yeah five percent in my opinion if i would go with this 100 US dollars challenge or whatever maybe 100 dollars to 1000 or something like that all is is a joke bro 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 low No, but I want to show people that it's actually possible, even if they have $100. Uh, I don't just want to gamble it away, you know. And I also, you want to have proper risk management, because someone today actually, can you watch at Sushi real quick? Uh, yeah, we can look at Sushi. Someone today on Discord, do it. Uh, but I don't know guys, like I said, I don't know when I'm going to do it because my school, ac school actually starts in seven days and because of that 
I don't know if I can actually can do this right now. Maybe in the upcoming, I would say months, because right now, I don't know how the school will be and everything. And because of that, like I said, I don't know. Um, so what exactly do I need to do right now? So someone requested that I they want to make that what they want to see a sushi. No school is old man oil. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> sushi I cannot just drop out right now so sushi USDT awesome perfect time massive downtrend on sushi Bitcoin is the new boy style so uh, in the past year I in the past year yeah uh, I actually traded uh, when I was in school between classes I actually traded Bitcoin uh, on my phone, uh, but now I'm actually thinking that I will just bring the laptop and trade on there. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> so, any more words on BDC just dropped in. Sushi was a pump and dump. I mean, sushi, if you look at sushi right now, personally, massive downtrend, I would not buy it. Lower lows, I mean, lower highs are getting formed. Let me go into 4 hourly. You can see that pretty much this. Uh, let me just show you bump a little correction up bump lower low lower low being formed as you can see lower low lower high exponential moving averages are all pointing to the downside downtrend on sushi i would not buy it uh bitcoin i mean last words i would say like i said maybe a retest of the resistance here Go back down. Let me actually look at money flow because money flow on this free version of market cipher, in my opinion, is very useful. Here, technically, I mean, money flow is now getting thicker. Let me go on the four hourly. Money flow is no, I mean, four hourly. I mean, money flow is going down as you can see this down. And because that money is going out of the market, you can expect pretty much a rat right now. So, how can you? I think crypto face actually measured something like this, he does something like this. And then if you look previous money flow, it is around this level right there. So if you see the cross here, 27th of September, uh, then we can, if you look at money flow here, then we can actually revert and go back to the upside. On a daily time frame, we are also going down. Uh, three hourly, we are pretty much at zero. Two hourly, red, hourly, red. So... Yeah, we are in a downtrend. I would not. I would. Uh, I would not look to enter another. Uh, I would not be looking to enter a long position. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's live stream. Uh, hopefully you made a nice five minute. Looks brutal. Let me look on five minutes. Oh, five minutes. I mean, oh, if you look at market cipher here, the thickness of the money money flow here is cool. Thanks, no problem. So guys, hopefully you actually caught the trade today. Nice short on Bitcoin. We nicely uh, dropped below and of course we made nice profits on this short. Um, bleeding. <laughs> so yeah, um, this would be it for today's live stream. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day. Keep trading guys because as you can see gains can be made. Uh, on Bitcoin and in the cryptocurrency market. Have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow and peace out.